How's it going boys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to teach you 5 got lead tips about alchemists. Let's just skip through all the nitty gritty of things and get straight into it boys. So as you can see I'm level 25 on alchemist. You can't really see clearly but I am level 25 on alchemist. This is my most played hero by far. I have let's see I have a total of over 700 games with the 60% win rate so I would say that's pretty good that's pretty damn good guys so today I'm gonna give you five tips on how to make yourself an even better alchemist player than you already are and trust me no one really talks about these things man no one really talks about these because only someone who played alchemist for their entire fucking dota career will understand I use this hero I boost myself from archon 5 to like divine in two months so enough talking boys let's get started so number one the first thing that people do not know about alchemist is the fact that he can do this let me just demonstrate actually so let's uh love it him up real quick and let's get a hero called quap people don't abuse this enough actually so let's get quap you know what I'm about to do? If you already know what I'm about to do, then well played, man. You you deserve a fucking trophy. You're a champion. But if you don't know, then I'm going to show you. So essentially what I'm going to do is this. Uh, So what happens when you're up against a Quap or SF in lane? Oh yeah, you just have to do this. So let's say you got level 6, right? And then the Quap, um, the Quap got level 6 as well. Now, once you go to lane, what you want to do is um let the quap actually you want once you get into lane, you don't want to just ult right away because if you ult into lane, then the quap's gonna dagger you and now you're sad because you're running around at like 53 uh 50 percent movement speed, which is not good. Okay, and let's say you don't die, you're regening, but then you you're hit you're walking slower, she can hit you a lot more, and on top of that, you're gonna have to like run to jungle after, which is a lot slower. So yeah, it's just not good, not efficient overall. So what you want to do is uh, walk in, because this applies a basic dispel, right? So you walk on top of the creep wave, and then when she daggers you, she's going to be like, yo, you can't be here. This is not your place. She's going to dagger you, and then you pop ulti. You can dispel it. And the reason why that's super good is because one, it, it wastes her mana, and also there's a pretty long cooldown until level 4. So let's say level 2 dagger or level 3 dagger, she can't actually dagger you permanently. Like, she's gonna dagger you, and like, this is what's gonna happen, okay? So she's gonna go to lane, right? Alright, let's, uh, okay. So this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go to lane, and then she's gonna walk up, right? She's You're gonna acid spray the ground, she's gonna dagger you, and then you're gonna pop your ulti. And then before the dagger comes off cooldown again, you already cleared the wave and you're off to jungling. Like, you're already done here. Your job is already done. Right? Same thing with, uh, with SF. So basically, SF, if he actually lands triple raise on you, he might just fucking kill you. Like, if this lands, it will actually kill me. I'm not even kidding. So the way how you can negate that sometimes is like this. So let's say you're walking to lane, right? You don't pop your ulti right away. So I'm gonna raise you twice. Or, okay, maybe not twice. He's gonna raise you like the first time and then you're gonna pop your ulti and now the second raise does a lot less damage than the first one because the raise does not get the stack effect so every time it stacks it does 80 more damage so if you can not get stacked by the raise that is super good so you can actually dispel that so basically any hero with some kind of thing that you can dispel is good uh there's also like visage with his attack speed uh, attack speed slow what else is there uh, Visage, DK with his damage reduction. Um, something to note that you can you can actually dispel Viper's Q, but not his ulti. And you can also dispel like Venom shit. You can dispel TA traps. You can dispel uh, basically everything. The only things you can't dispel is Huskar's Burning Spears, shit like that, and Viper's ulti. That you cannot dispel. So yeah, just keep in mind. You will know if you can dispel it or not by looking at the hero spell. So this says cannot be dispelled, right? Like dispellable cannot be dispelled. This is dispellable, yes. So if Huskar jumps on you, the 20, the 60% movement slow 
you can actually just run away. Like, let's say you're laying against a Huskar, right? This guy is fucking cancer to lane against as an alchemist. But let's say um he jumps on you, right? You can actually dispel it off and just run away from him. And then Huskar has lower movement speed than you. So, yeah, both of you guys don't have boots. And with your ulti, you're already running faster than him with boots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're literally running faster than him with boots on. And you don't even have boots. Yeah. Is that not create insane or what? Like, you're, you're not gonna die to this guy. Just, just do this and run away. It's fine. You're gonna be okay. The main thing you other heroes are scared about is the movement speed slow, but you know, you don't care about that. So yeah. So that's one thing. The second thing I want to talk about, it's actually a little bit... I need to like, uh, reset over here. I need to quit and reset to teach you guys this one. Because this one's a little bit tricky. If you're still watching it till here, um... The reason why this is a little bit iffy, it might not be useful for everyone, but I still think it's a super good tip. And honestly, nope, no one knows this because this is actually very hard to understand. Let's say you're laying against an Ember, okay? Ember is probably one of the easiest heroes to lane against as an Alchemist. So, let's say you guys are dueling it out here, right? You're fighting it out somehow. And then, uh, let me just AFK here for a bit. Level up enemy, level up enemy. Alright, let's say you guys are both like this, okay? This is a situation that will likely happen in the lane. Let's say you guys are both low, okay? Alchemist can actually kill the enemy mid. I'm not even joking. I've done this so many times. You have to debate them, okay? The way how Alchemist... Okay, so first thing I want to say, uh, say before we get into this part is that Alchemist does not win lanes. He does not win lanes like Quap, SF, and Storm. He does not kill people. The way how Alchemist wins lanes is by not losing his lane. It's basically how badly he loses and he tries to negate that as much as he can. That is essentially Alchemist in a nutshell, okay? Alchemist does not win lanes. The enemy mid will get free farm, no matter what, no matter who it is. There's not a single hero in this game that Alchemist can be like, oh, I'm going to make sure you don't farm. Like, that's impossible. It's all about how much they can stop you. And the less they can stop you, the better it is and the more you will win your lane. Because if you guys are even, you're going to jerk off in the jungle and you're going to be fine. So if you're versing a Quap, if you guys are even, you won. You won the lane. Yes, you actually won the lane if you guys are even. I consider that a win. If the Quap killed you once, if you just got stomped on a little bit, you won the lane. Not as much, but you won the lane. The Quap literally has to follow you in the jungle, kill you like five times to say that she technically won the lane. You know what I mean? It's not like a Storm and Quap where if this Quap kills the Storm once or twice, this Quap already won the lane. It's not like that. With Alchemist, is different because he farms so fast. So, because you're so weak, the only time where you can actually kill people is level 3. I'll tell you guys why. Because Grievel's Greed, um, is you get this at level 1 100% to get Bounty Runes. But at, with Acid Spray, level 1 Acid Spray is minus 4 armor. Level 2 Acid Spray is 5 armor and it does physical damage, okay? Everything on Alchemist is physical. Stun is physical damage, everything. It's not magical damage, so... It works well with his minus armor. So it's actually doing a lot more damage than just 20 because you're minusing 5 armor. And I'm going to tell you guys this. There is not a lot of mid heroes. I'm not talking about like, you know, techies with his 7 armor uh, bounty hunter. I'm talking about traditional mid heroes like Ember, Quap, Zeus, Storm. Heroes like these. There's not many heroes besides like DK, maybe Storm, that has more than 5 armor from the get-go. So any mid laner you're laning against, Broodmother, Puck, whatever the fuck, even Huskar, even Ursa, even Troll, you can kill them at level 3. Because not a lot of heroes has past 5 armor, okay? Huskar has like 2 armor. They're not gonna get enough armor by level uh, 3. So at this point, if you put your acid spray on the ground, you're getting him negative armor. And if your creeps are hitting him, and you're hitting him, and the tick damage is ticking on him, he might not even realize, like, people underestimate Alchemist's uh, Acid Spray damage, so they try to trade with you because they think they can out-trade you. Like, let me just demonstrate real quick. So let's say the Ember has these items, right? So the Ember's, like, pops his Flame Guard, and you put Acid Spray down. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill this guy. And then you're just running around. He's gonna be, I'm gonna kill this guy. Boom. Boom. He died. He thought he could kill you. And this is even better if you have, like, a Fairy Fire. 
you know, tanks one or two extra hits. Because they're taking a shit ton of damage from creeps and acid spray because of the minus armor. This is probably the only time in the entire lane where you're most likely to actually kill the enemy mid laner. It is still very... It is still almost near impossible, so you're still probably not going to achieve this. But just keep in mind that if you're ever going to kill him, it is now. Because once you get level 5 and 6, like, you're not really going to skill up shit. You're not going to get Acid Spray anymore because you're going to get Grievous Greed. I always do because um, you're going to get Bounty Runes. And you don't want to, like, not get 2 times, 2.5 times more. Because you're going to be level 5 at minute 5. So that's the Bounty Rune timing. And then you get your level 6. Your ulti is not a fighting dude. You're not going to fight anyone with this. This is literally just so you don't die. And you can farm it out in the jungle without having to buy 50 billion selves. That is literally the only reason. So, yeah, that is, and you have to bait them too, you have to be smart about it. If you just put it on the ground, and you start punching them, they're not going to fall for it. You put on the ground, they're going to stand in it for a bit, and then you're going to be pretty low as well, right? You're going to bait them into thinking they can kill you, but then you punch them twice, and the creeps are hitting them, and boom, they're dead. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is actually like an item tip. This one is um a little bit different. So... An item tip is that you could actually go double no talisman instead of uh, soaring. Everyone always rushes soaring. Double no talisman is oh, double no talisman is actually very viable. Just because double no talisman actually gives you mana regen and a lot of stats. Like it gives you strength, agi, and intel too. So that's even more mana regen. So if you have that, you don't have to go soaring. Soaring recently got uh, buffed a little bit by fifty uh, by seventy five gold, but still. Doesn't give you HP regen anymore, although it's still uh, strength and armor, which is good for alchemists. But if you're if they don't have like any mana burn, they don't have an anti mage, you and you have like a CM on your team, right? Or you're just you got an arcane rain, right? You got lucky, you found one, you got the jelly, whatever reason, you got a coddle. You can actually just go no talismans because uh, two no talisman is. It's, a, it's more expensive than a soaring, but the thing is you will farm faster because it will give you uh, more agi for higher um, you know, damage and whatever. And most importantly, more attack speed I mean, more importantly is the uh, spell amp. Because when you acid spray the ground, it actually increases acid spray damage by slightly a little bit. And that's it adds up man, it adds up. It, it just means that you can like clear your camp faster or something like that. Take more camps. And also... Alchemist almost always gets Radiance first item, so you're also burning for more damage. You know, 63, a little bit more, you know, it matters, it matters. So, that's what, that's what you can do. And then, uh, fourth tip, kind of third tip, I'll see. But, fourth tip is that, if you're up against physical damage heroes, well, actually, I'll say third tip still, okay? Uh, if you're up against a physical damage hero mid, such as like Wind Ranger or Slardar or PA, a TA, you know, go phase boots because you want to be running away and just armor, right? This is straightforward. But people don't go treads enough on Alchemist. Do not underestimate treads. They are cheaper than phase boots. They offer more attack speed. And believe it or not, a level six Alchemist. Wait, hold on. A level 6 alchemist with phase boost will actually kill a level 6 alchemist with treads. Oh shit, I'm getting XP here. That's not good. Um, oh shit. Level up enemy, level up enemy. Let me just show you a demo real quick. Phase boost, treads. Okay, fight. The treads is gonna win. While they're dueling it out here, I'm just gonna start talking. So... Be the reason why treads are good is because you get more attack speed, you get more damage because of the attributes, and also you can uh, treads toggle to give you mana and HP. And on top of that, because it gives you HP, so if you're uh, up against a Zeus or something, this is by default like 200 more HP, so it's super good. Yeah, as you can see, treads actually win by slightly. I know, surprising, because you, you probably won't think so, but that's actually the case. Uh, treads actually do win. If you say I didn't skill for the other guy, I'm literally not using any abilities and none of his shit are passive, so yeah. Anyways, uh, third tip. This this only works for Wind Ranger, and I actually uh, am up against Wind Ranger a lot. I don't think it's actually vi viable for any other carry, but Wind Ranger. So, 
Normally you will go Trez Radiance, right? But against Wind Ranger, you can actually just go Blade Mill first item. I'm not even joking. Sometimes I skip boots just to go Blade Mill. Sometimes I get Trez and then Blade Mill. The reason is because the only way that Wind Ranger can kill you is if she can hit you and you can't hit her back. You know what I mean? Because you're regening so much at level 6, so when you get level 6, she's gonna get level 6. So you guys, well, as long as you don't miss too many lasses, you're gonna get level 6 at relatively the same time. So, if he starts ulting you and you have blade mill on, you can pop it and she will just kill herself, right? Let's say she's smart, she stops attacking you. But, because blade mill returns 20% plus 20 damage to a fucking wind ranger that has like 2 HP, you're gonna be able to kill her because it's gonna take her a long time to kill you. Like, once you have your ulti pop, you're regening a lot. Just run under your tower. She's gonna uh, win run under your tower. Just go like this. Run between the trees. Juke her out, right? Juke her out between the trees. And then she will just get herself killed. I'm not even joking. Like, a javelin wind ranger that rushes javelin tries to kill you. If she doesn't rush javelin, let's say she's trying to go for double no talisman bullshit, then don't, you don't even have to worry about it because... Wind Ranger without, um, what's it called? Without Javelin can never kill you with ult. Like, l l we can literally do a demo right now. Uh, Wind Ranger, let's see. Wind Ranger. Okay. She's shooting you. You're not dying. She's dying. Yeah. Okay, well, I know she obviously doesn't have any items, but you get the idea. So, it's only against Wind Ranger. Now this is the last tip guys, this is probably the one you're gonna use the most because it's honestly life saving for me. So let's say you're up against a quad mid right, like let's say there's a quad mid. Because the quad has dagger and whatnot, she's gonna dagger you in lane. Oh shit. She's gonna dagger you in lane right, and then she's gonna deny a lot of your creeps. So let's say, let's say, let's say you're level 5. Right? And she got level 6 before you. So the Quap got level 6, you're still level 5. Don't don't mind the level 26 and level 9. Pretend I'm level 5 and I am, let's say I have 50% HP, right? I could go base, I could buy a self, or I could wait till I'm level 6 so I can regen to full. Because popping your ulti will heal you to full every single time, even if you're at like 10 HP. So. The Quap is level 6, which means she threatens you with Sonic Wave. This works for Lina as well, by the way. Any hero that can kill you, Storm, uh, that zaps on you, uh, even Ember sometimes, that like fucking goes on you, Void Spirit even. But a lot of these heroes, once you have your ulti pop, cannot burst you from 100 to 0. Like, Quap actually can't burst you with the level 6 ulti and plus dagger combo. Like, she actually just doesn't, right? I, I played with Quap so many times. She doesn't burst you enough. With your full HP with your ulti on. So, this is what you need to know. If I'm level 5, he's level 6. He's gonna look to kill me here. If I die when I'm level 5, he's gonna get level 7. Because once I die, I respawn. He's gonna get XP for killing me. And then he's gonna farm like a wave or two. And then boom, he's level 7 and I'm level 5. And that is super bad. Because now it's super hard for you to get at level 6. If he can keep you at level 5 for as long as he wants, right now, if you're level 5 and he's... Okay, by the way, if you're Quap, what you want to do is keep the Alchemist at level 5 as long as you can, man. I don't even care if you're sacrificing your farm. If you can keep this fucking guy at level 5, the Alk is going to have such a bad time at farming because he he's going to literally be like losing 25% HP for every creep camp. And if you just jump on him and dagger him, he can't even fucking do anything because he just TP to lane. Like, the alchemist is fucked, dude. So, you want to avoid that from happening by doing a simple thing. So, this is what you want to do. I'm getting so fucking hyped right now talking about this because I, I play alchemist a lot, man. I love this hero. So, what you want to do is... So, the quap is probably going to... So, it's going to be the catapult wave. So, the quap is going to push in your wave, right? So, he's going to push into your tower. What you want to do here, it's... Literally sit beside, sit in the trees beside your tower. If a quap is good, she's gonna come in here and check, but then she's gonna tank some tower hits. And then you wanna wa you wanna do this. So you're gonna get calling blade, right? And then you're gonna waddle around. So you're gonna try to juke her out, right? You're gonna walk this way. Well, obviously in the real map, you can actually walk this way. You can cut down trees to juke, to have a little juking path. And you just wanna juke like this. So this, this blocks her vision. 
She actually can't see here. And same thing for this side as well. Let's see. You want to juke her out like this. There's no vision here. And if you can just juke her out like this, it's fine. You're going to be okay, right? So, you want to basically play a little maze game until you get level 6. And let's say she's pushing. If you're missing, she's either going to go gank, which is nice. You just walk back the lane, but you got to be careful she's faking it. Or the creeps are going to push in the tower. You can drop basset spray. Or if you don't want to expose your location, you don't even have to do that. And then just soak XP. Soak 1 to 2 waves is fine, dude. You're going to get level 6, and then you're going to be able to lane. So, and then you want to use the same tip I, as I said. Walk the lane, but don't just fucking like... Well, obviously, if you're like this much HP, you got to use it earlier. But walk the lane. Don't pop your ulti right away. Wait for him to dagger you. And then you and then you pop your ulti. Wait, what? Hello? And then you pop your ulti. But yeah. That's about it. That's about all the five tips, guys. This is probably there's probably some more somewhere else. I'm gonna make a official alchemist guide in the future though. This is just like a top five tips video. It's not actually the official guide. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you know, give this video a like, check out my Twitch, check out my Patreon, check out the anything and everything boys, and hope you, uh, have a nice day, and peace out.